Hey gang, it's Drew from Z Code System back here for a new video on the channel here on YouTube and on the blog. So I hope you are enjoying the summertime here in the Northern Hemisphere and I hope you are getting ready for the Champions League final, which takes place on Saturday, June the 10th. We're just a couple of days away and we here at Z Code System are getting very excited about the up coming game which will pit English Premier League team Manchester City against Italy's Serie A team Inter Milan and this is going to be a fantastic final for the European Cup and of course this is the biggest game the Champions League final that is is the biggest game in club football around the world so all eyes will be on this game on Saturday night June the 10th. So I hope you guys are getting ready for that. And today we're going to go over some of the betting odds for this game and just talk about some of the uh, some of the action that you're going to see, as well as look at the Soccer Buddy tool, which is going to give us a prediction for the game on Saturday night. So as you can see there right in front of you, we've got the Z Code System blog. You can go over there and read up on all of the different content we post there. And of course, if you're familiar with our YouTube page, you can watch all the different videos that we post there regularly with all the picks and predictions. And you can get some great insight into making sports investments from there. But uh, as you can see, I haven't posted the blog, but it will be up on the website once uh, I guess once you're you're watching this, so you can go over there and read that if you haven't already at zcodesystem.com backslash blog. And you can see some of the information that I posted there in the blog about the final uh, that you don't see here in the video. So what we're going to do here is let's get over to the betting odds and take a look at those before we go any further in this video. Okay, so I'm using William Hill for our betting odds today. And as you can see, they are in the American format uh, for this video. And uh, William Hill, of course, a uh, great betting website, great betting partner. Uh, of course, you probably have your favorite online sports book. I know I have mine, uh, but it's always good to have multiple accounts with sports websites, uh, with sports betting websites, just so you can make sure you are getting the best odds available. And uh, William Hill has some great markets for the Champions League final. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit here. And you can see we have the betting odds for Saturday, night, Saturday night's Champions League final between Manchester City and Inter Milan. And to win the game in 90 minutes, Manchester City are minus 225 to win that. They are heavy favorites going into the final. And why wouldn't be Manchester City have a chance to pick up a treble of trophies this season with a win over Inter Milan. They've already won the English Premier League. They've already won the FA Cup, which they did last weekend, defeating Manchester United 2-1 in the final. And now City can cap off the campaign with a third trophy, and that is the Champions League final trophy. Now, this game is plus 360 to end the 90 minutes as a draw, and Inter Milan are plus 600 massive underdogs to win the match in 90 minutes. If you think that, uh, you know, if you have an extra 10 pounds or $10 or 10 euros to to wager on Inter Milan, then you might want to do that um, because even though Manchester City are heavy favorites, I, I can see Inter Milan pulling up uh, uh, an upset for the century and ending City's uh, chances of winning three trophies. Now, William Hill, like all sports bookmakers, uh, online sports bookmakers, they will have or they have loads of markets for the final. Uh, you can get markets on uh, and enhanced odds as well for, for different markets such as Holland to score and Manchester City to win to nil in 90 minutes. That's plus 300. Uh, you can get over two goals, over three cards and over 10 corners. That's plus 500. One of the, one of the great things that uh, a lot of European online bookmakers do, as you can see there, uh, is they do some different, um, what, what you can call bet builders, or as William Hill calls it, know your odds or your own odds. These are uh, markets that they combine together to give you boosted odds. And they're a lot of fun to, to wager on. I like to use these every once in a while because it combines some different markets and uh, the bookmaker is is combining these for you. They're giving you some boosted odds and they're a lot of fun to, to wager on. Uh, you can obviously use uh, the bet builder feature, which we've talked about here on Z Code System previously. You can use that bet builder feature 
to create your own, uh, basically it's, it's an accumulator uh, for a single match, but you can use that to uh, create your own bet for, uh, for a match. And I know a lot of people, a lot of friends of mine will be doing that for the Champions League final this weekend. And again, lots of different markets are available. One that you might fancy for this weekend is the total goals market. And the over 2.5 total goals market is at minus 138, while the under 2.5 market is plus 100. Now, just a little note, the last four Champions League finals all finished with under 2.5 goals. So this would be the first match in quite some time to see over 2.5 goals if we do in fact see that on Saturday night. And with the firepower that Manchester City have, then you know you might you might think that we will see over 2.5 goals in this one. And then one last market I'm just gonna have a quick look at here is the goal scorer market. Now, Manchester City's Erling Holland has scored 52 goals in 52 appearances this season. He's had a fantastic campaign and he was signed to get Manchester City into the Champions League final and win it, uh, something that the club has never done before. Now, Holland is minus 167 to score any time. Now, he is going to start the match. He's going to play as long as no injuries occur. Uh, he is going to play this match. Now, you've got some options for Holland here if you want to, to take these. First goal scorer plus 210. Last goal scorer plus 210 to score two or more goals plus 320. A hat trick in the final plus 1100. That's that's. You know, that's a great market in my opinion because Holland has been so fantastic this season with several multi-goal games. So, you know, if, if you think that he can score two goals or more or score a hat trick, then, you know, by all means, put you know a little bit of money behind that because I think those are some uh, excellent markets that you're being offered here. Now, you shouldn't count out Inter Milan in this uh, final. Inter Milan are a good team. No, they did not win the Serie A uh, league this season in Italy, but they did win the domestic cup, the Coppa Italia. And this is a team that put a lot of focus on the Champions League. They came through a group in the group stage against Bayern Munich and Barcelona and did really well. They beat Barcelona uh, at home and drew with them at the Camp Nou. Although they didn't defeat Bayern Munich, Inter did enough to, to get through the group and then have done well to reach the final. This is a good team and a very um, a team that a lot of people are looking past just expecting Man United or excuse me, just expecting Manchester City to win the final. And I think a lot of that has to do with the bias towards English teams at the moment, especially with all the money currently in the English Premier League. Now, keep in mind, Manchester City are currently under investigation with the Premier League uh, for financial um of regularities, I guess we can say, uh, breaking financial rules with the Premier League. And this is something that uh, UEFA, who uh, who oversee the Champions League, had brought them up on a few years ago, uh, only for the Court of Arbitration to um, uh, quash uh, the case. So, um, you know, this is a, a team who has uh, some some issues off the pitch with some uh, potential financial doping that has been going on over the years. But right now we're just talking about the, the game on the pitch and, uh, and City taking on Inter in the final. Now, looking at the Soccer Buddy tool here for the final, as you can see, we have Manchester City is being predicted to win this game 2-1. to one. And I like that scoreline because I do like over 2.5 goals being scored in this game. I do think Inter could get a goal in this match from a set piece or from a counter attack. Now, I expect Inter to have 11 players, 10 players behind the ball, you know, as much as possible. And Manchester City camping out around the uh, penalty area, around Inter's penalty area, having a go at the goal. Um, Inter goalkeeper Andre Onana should be very busy uh, throughout the night and this is a game in which City I also expect to come out all guns blazing and really trying to get that first goal in the opening five minutes you know it could be one of those one of those matches where they just come out and try to blitz Inter from the start uh, but again I don't want to count Inter out of this I think that they're a very strong team they're going to play with two strikers which is something you don't see a lot from top level teams anymore 
City don't play like that. City will play a 4-3-3. Uh, Inter will play uh, something around a 3-5-2. And I think this Inter team can be very dangerous uh, in the Champions League final. Do I see them winning? Well, I could see them perhaps pulling off an underdog upset. I would love to see that. But I actually think Manchester City will win this game. And I do like the over 2.5 goals prediction for this match. So that is my pick here on Z Code System this week for the Champions League final, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Who's going to win the Champions League final? Who are you backing to win the Champions League final? How many goals are we going to see in this Champions League final this season? I'm excited about the game. I'm always excited uh, about this game this time of year, but a little bit sad that the club football season will be coming to an end. But guys, let me know in the comments below who's going to win this game. And also, if you haven't subscribed before to Z Code System, do that right now. Hit that button and subscribe to the channel. Like this video and share it on social media. And also go over to the blog, read up on all the things I didn't cover here in the video in the blog. And please also share that on social media. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon here on Z Code System. And good luck this weekend with your Champions League football betting.